number stage. It's because you're not fasting enough. You say, I'm not fasting enough. You say, do you remember the last time you fasted? By nine o'clock you ate. God is not very happy about that. And you say, hey, it's true. You start repenting. You start repenting. The reason this is not happening and that is not happening is because of this. You think you are the one thinking. No, you are having a conference with the accuser of the brethren. <laughs> he will accuse brethren to you. He will accuse you to you. God never accuses his children to you. He doesn't do it. Only Satan does it. And you know the interesting thing? When you hold someone responsible for something, you will not let it go. And meanwhile, he has never confessed to that crime that you have held him responsible for. You just know he's the one. So how do you know? I know him. <laughs> I know him. He's the one. He's the one. And you will never take your mind away from it. You know what has happened? You have had a conference with the accuser of the brethren. It's as simple as that. Let me remind you, you don't need to do anything for somebody to like you. And you don't need to do anything for someone to hate you. Just remember, someone can look at you and dislike you, despise you and hate you. And you've never done anything wrong. He has probably never met you. The Bible says about Jesus, they hated him without a cause. He didn't do anything wrong. They hated him without a cause. If they did that to Jesus, why do you suppose that will never happen to you? If you don't want it to happen to you, continue to sow favor. Continue to sow favor. Satan reminds you of how that person despised you, how that usher treated you, refused to give you a chair to sit in the right place. You say, I refuse to be angry. I refuse to hold it against him. And as you continue to refuse Satan's suggestions, your joy will go higher and higher, higher and higher. Are you still there? Yeah. Glory to God. Are you full of joy? How do you know? How do you know? You know, you can be happy in church as soon as you get home. Everything that normally annoys you is there <laughs> what do you do when everything that annoys you shows up let me tell you something i learned years ago several years ago i was i've been pastoring just a few years and i was sitting in my office somebody had done something very annoying so i asked about it and i was told this one did this and the other one was part of it so i said send for them so they brought the two of them they sat in front of me i said sit down they sat down i was very cross you don't want to see me when i'm very cross do you <laughs> i was very cross so i started out as i was talking i was even now stammering out of the anger <laughs> I was very angry. Then I noticed that as I was talking, my head, <laughs> it was as though, you know, from the frowning and the anger, as if my head started having, started aching a bit. So I stopped. They didn't know why I stopped. I was still frowning and looking at them. It was my head. <laughs> then very quickly, I just remembered. You want to go in this direction or you want to change course? I said, I want to change course. You know, when the Spirit of God ministers, you can be very quick. <laughs> right away, I just started laughing. <laughs> These two people who, you know, thought they were in real soup. I was laughing, laughing, laughing. Then I said, get out. <laughs> I was trying to save myself. <laughs> you see? I said, get out. 
and matter was over. Why? I was trying to save myself. It was not about them. It was about me and my health. Do I want to be normal? <laughs> All this angry fellow, you know? What do I want to be? Then you don't know why you pick up a sickness that doesn't go, no matter the prayer. But you are a pastor. I rebuke, I rebuke, I rebuke the migraine in the name of Jesus. I confess there's no migraine. Meanwhile, every time you get angry, it takes forces to rescue you. <laughs> Let it go that you may be healthy. Let it go so that God can use you. Let it go. Let it go. Happy pastors. Yeah. And any happy, have you seen happy children? Little ch children that are always laughing, they're laughing, they grow very well. You know, very, they're laughing, they look jolly and nice. You feel like carrying them. But have you ever seen <laughs> a child that looks like a man? <laughs> Small child. When he looks at you, even <laughs> you'll be afraid. Like, ah. <laughs> you ask, Madam, how old is your baby? <laughs> You want to carry it? <laughs> Happy pastors! Is it true? Keep your life in top gear as you take advantage of an unlimited access to over 300 messages available on the Pastor Chris Digital Library. Download the Pastor Chris Digital Library app on Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Pastor Chris Digital Library. Bringing you the word easier and faster.